have a little cup of coffee and it's the most beautiful weather here in the Netherlands. Um, here I have my main watercolor palette that is uh, quite big and stores a lot of watercolors and here you can see all of the colors that are in this particular palette um, and I decided to bring two brushes two Roman Schmal brushes they are very very nice um, and they have the most fine tip but still hold a lot of water and I have a smaller size a size 6 and then a bigger size a size 12 I got these in Poland as a gift from my boyfriend uh, I've this water container uh, by Faber Castell you can uh, it's it's a water container to take with you on the go then I have a selection of colored pencils um, darker colored pencils um, then I have a orangey brown some mints and turquoisey colors yellow and orange uh, lilacs pinks grays for grays and then greens and I decided to take a bit less than I normally do and in here there are brands Derwent and Karandash the two brands that I like the best also have my two boxes of well <laughs> I also have my two boxes of new colors and um, these are all of the neo colors that I currently have in my collection so I decided to take all of them and this is a little box and I've drawn all of the colors that I own on the top so I have a box with warmer colors pinks and browns and yellows and then I have one with cooler colors and just having fun in my art creation sketchbook um, yeah, just good paper for on the go and just experimenting having fun using some super granulating schminke watercolor the forest set and then the blue color titanium buff and indigo colors that I'm using I've been really getting into gouache. I was looking for a way to take my gouache paints with me on holiday. In a few weeks, I will be on holiday. So I thought I wanted a way to bring them. Um, and with watercolors, I really enjoy using watercolors out of the pens. Uh, but when it comes to gouache, they uh, tend to dry really um really dry it out and crack and they're not smooth and easy to re-wet so i had a tip from a uh, instagram and youtuber i follow she makes beautiful art lindsay i will leave her tag somewhere here in the video um but she said that she used a little bit of honey and now i've been really enjoying using this palette i have it in a standard palette but this one is by daniel smith um and I just 
put in uh, some great mixing colors. Uh, two whites, one for mixing, one for leaving it um, as is, uh, because you tend to use a lot of white. Now, I've been working in my bigger art creation sketchbook, uh, ooh, the yellow sketchbook, and been really having fun putting on the gouache on the paper, uh, mixing the gouache uh, to create uh, all sorts of colors in this palette. I love that you can use gouache in so many different ways. <laughs> Recently, I've been really, really enjoying using um, the Neo Colors. These are the Neo Color 2s, and they are uh, water soluble. And I was doubting to get the biggest set of 84 colors, um, but that set is still quite expensive. So I decided to swatch all of the colors that I already have and sort of count how many colors I have. Now I'm flipping through my sketchbook to find the swatching pages. Yes, here it is. So here you can see all of the colors that I already had and I uh, activated them with water. And then here I added some new ones uh, that I got yesterday at my local art store. Uh, to sort of complete this set um, and uh, I already have quite a lot of colors so I thought it's better to just keep on uh, picking up the colors that I like that I really enjoy than uh, to buy the bigger set because the bigger set is like 140 euros which is a lot of money um, and I still have some colors and I counted that <clears throat> the price difference isn't actually super big when you buy them um you know open stock or um piece uh when you buy them open stock or in a set uh it it sort of comes down to the same price so there is also not a uh stimulants to buy the set uh, because of the price difference uh so what i did yesterday is I went to my local art store and picked up some new colors that uh, completed the color selection that I was looking for and I can still pick up more because now I have, let me count, 15, so I have 42 colors already and in total there are 84 so I have half so it doesn't really make sense to me to pay so much money for a bigger set um, when I just get um, new colors that I maybe don't even use so what I decided to do is I went to my local art store ye yesterday and picked up some new colors. And now I have two of these boxes filled with Neo colors. Uh, these boxes are, I believe, old packaging from uh, the uh, New Holland oil paints. 
uh, which I never got because I don't paint in oil paints. But um, a lot of the art stores here in the Netherlands, ugh, a lot of the art stores here in the Netherlands do have these little boxes, and you can just um, get them and ask if you can bring them home. Uh, and the new colors fit in perfectly so it's it's a really great storage and i have two boxes for cool colors and warm colors and it just makes it easy to um find out which colors that i need uh, a lot of my oil pastels are broken down in smaller pieces because i like to use them quite <laughs> roughly i think um and i try to sharpen them i use this sharpener for them um, and I got this sharpener a really, really long time ago when I was, I think, 12 years old. I'm 24 now, so a um, very, very long time ago. And I bought it in French when I was on holiday with my uh, family. I actually met some really um, nice English people there and I made some friends and... Um, but that that's not what this the point is but the point is that you have this um eraser and then you have two holes and one hole is perfect for my um colored pencils and then this one is perfect for new colors and i was surprised because i i tried some different um er, some different sharpeners but they all didn't work now let me show you um look i have this color which the the point is quite um bold put it in here i just turn it around i know you actually have to sharpen like this but i don't do that i it feels so unnatural and you can see that it sharpens beautifully in fact and you get this beautiful point which is amazing for if you want to add finding final details stuff like that. So I'll show you. I actually woo, so I uh, took off all of the packaging of the colors that I already have, so I don't know what colors I have, uh, but I can show you the new colors that I got. I have some blues. I think more and more people <coughs> will know uh, what kind of colors um, I enjoy using. I think so. So here I have the colors that I picked up. So I added some more purple lilac -y colors, a new pink, a brighter pink. Oh, this one is not supposed to be here. A dark red, dark pink, uh, a bright uh, a muted pastel -y, uh, pink. And I thought, I saw that I have one with the old logo on it. Yeah, a few with the old logo. And I just really love the old Carandage logo. I love this. It's so cool. I I don't know if they still use it. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So, um, let me show you how they swatch. I did some experiments in my sketchbook with them, layering them, watering them down, mixing them. Um, these are quite messy pages, but it helps me to just uh, try them out, water them down and experiment with them. So let me show you. <clears throat> oh yeah, and you're asking me to write down the names of them. Garan Dash Neo. And these are the new color twos. Yeah. Two. 
Um, first off, we have silver gray. I will um, use some water in a bit. Then this is called Sahara Yellow. Beautiful color, really beautiful color. Um, a very bright green color, yellow green. And it's a May green type of green. It's super bright. If you're wondering which pencil I'm using to Sketch, it's the Dark Indigo Pencil by, also, Karandash, a luminance pencil. This one is called Furanice <clears throat> Green. I don't know how you should pronounce this. Furanice Green. And it's really, really creamy, very interesting green color. And the first of these should be opposite to each other. This one is a turquoise color. Um, turquoise blue. Blue. So nice. Um, I already have the turquoise green. Um, and I really love turquoisey colors. So I'm really happy that the Karandash have so much turquoisey colors variety. But this one is a new one, turquoise blue. Then we have a b light blue. And they are so fun to work with and they are so bulky and just love them. This is also a nice one and it's Parisian blue. And I think the other ones I'm going to do here. I have three more colors. And this is Periwinkle blue. I would say this is a purple, but you know. Blue. Oh. Well, it's quite high up, so I'm going to show you that it's like this. <laughs> to make it very organized and easy to understand this, just watching in my sketchbook. <laughs> So, the next one is Mauve. Da -da -da. It's 
so beautiful. And also when it comes to the lilac key colors, Carandage have three options. So really, really nice. And I already have this one. And this is the most blue one. And then this one is the most pinky one. And I like my lilacs. Um, and then I have a very cute bright pink. And it is rose. Oh, that is in French, rose and pink in English. In Dutch, pink is rose. So it's sort of the same as this one, but then we uh, write it down with a Z, uh, with a Z. And it's not rose, but it's rose. Don't know if you want to know that, but now you know it. <laughs> And then last one, we have Crimson Alizarin. And also blue. Blue in Dutch is Blau. So quite similar to English uh, and other colors. Um, yellow is, is really different. Um, and green is groen. <laughs> I'm getting some water out. Because now I'm sharing with you how to water them down. I'm using my very favorite brush at the moment. I've never had a brush like this. And it is a Roman small brush. And it has the most beautiful... Effect. Okay. Look, you can really activate it. And of course, this is a lighter color, so it's not as interesting maybe as the other colors, but they work really beautiful with water. And it's a sort of watercolor or gouache consistency because they are more opaque, especially the more pastel colors because they have a lot of white in them course green and the blue colors I mostly use them without water Still, I decided to get up the new color twos instead of the new color uh, ones because uh, this one is beautiful. Uh, because I like to have the the option. Put it here. You can see the effect. It's blending a bit. So put it here. So this is really beautiful. Then the purple color. sort of like a Mysteria by Diane Smith kind of color. Another purple color. And we have a pinky color. And last, the crimson color, which is a very beautiful. So here you can see all of the new colors that I got. And I love to play with these um, thingies because they're just fun art supply. They are like a super fancy crayon. And when I discovered that they exist, I thought, hey, this is something that I really want to use in my art.